Hi guys, Wendy here. It's DIY time again at Draw So Cute and today I'm going to show you how to use your name to make beautiful art. So let's get started. To make this name art, just start off by using a regular piece of um, copy paper. I'm going to show you two methods today, but whatever method you use, you want to start off by folding the paper. So I'm just going to make it pretty big just so that you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to fold this 8.5 by 11 in half. You basically just want to be able to get a center so that you can write your name and then um, on the other side would be the flip of your name to create this name art. So right here I'm just going to write my, um, I'm going to start by writing my name and I'm going to go to the edge right here and start to write my name and I'm just going to um, make it a little bit fancy and use cursive. So. You don't have to use cursive at all. It's however you want to write your name or someone else's name that you want to give this as a present to. So I'm just going to write my name here, Winnie, and I'm going to go close to the edge right here. You don't have to. If you don't go towards the edge very much, then what happens is when you open it up, there'll be more of a gap. So it's all up to you. Just experiment and see what you like. Okay, so I basically got my name in and what I'm going to do now is to flip it. What's going to happen is I'm going to flip this and rewrite my name flipped over. So what I want to do now is flip it over and I'm not sure if the camera can catch it, but see right here, that's why I'm using a dark marker so that I can see through. Um, I'm basically just going to trace my name again. If you notice that it's too hard for you to see through the paper to um, retrace your name, you can use your phone or your parents phone <laughs> or your iPad, whatever um, device that you might have as a light box. So something like this, basically, I can just put this over here and then um, as you can see, oops, let me snap out of that there. So as you can see, it's a lot easier to see. So that's an option if um, it's hard for you to um, see through the paper. But I can, I can pretty much um, see this pretty well. So I'm just going to go ahead and retrace what I wrote right here. Okay, there. So I basically traced it. Now I'm just going to open it up. And voila! Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it looks so cool, right? And then you can go back in there and um, if you've made any, um, missed any parts, you can just go in there and fill it. So like right here, I missed this little tail part. So I'm just going to come in here and fill it as best as I can. And maybe bring this in a little bit more. But that's about it. I mean, it just creates this random and really beautiful artwork just by using your name. So then you can go in there and color it or you can just go in with your Sharpie and um, make some parts thicker or thinner. But before I do that, I wanted to show you the second way of um, creating this art. So the second method is the same thing. You just might take your piece of paper again and just fold it in half. So for those who are not as comfortable um, tracing as being able to see through or maybe you have a thicker paper, um, or you don't have a phone to, um, to use as a light box. Just get a pencil and this is the side that you're going to be writing your name on. So flip that open and you want to take your pencil and at an angle, just nice and flat like this. Don't go straight up and down, just lay at a side and you want to be just kind of lightly um, rub your paper with the pencil, with the graphite. I'm going to close this up and I'm going to use a pen. So the reason I'm using a pen is because I'm able to push down hard. Uh, with a pencil I might not be able to do that because it might break my lid because I want to be able to push down and make an imprint of whatever I write on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and and write, let's see here. Let's find a name since I've already used my name. I'm going to go to my web YouTube channel right here and I just posted the latest one is my Chihuahua here. Let me refresh and I'm going to go to the Chihuahua and let's see here. Oops. Oh no, advertising. Ah! Okay, wait, I gotta skip this. 
<laughs> okay, skip. Hi guys, and stop. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm gonna go to the comments and find a name. So the first one I show you was my name. And as you can see, my name, I don't have any Y's or any tails. So you're probably wondering, what do you do if you have a tail? So let me show you, let me find someone's name that has a tail that gave me a really sweet comment. And come on, someone with a name that has a tail. Let's see here. Oh no, are you kidding me? Everyone doesn't have a tail so far? <laughs> Okay, sorry, let me see. Do you see your name? Um, let's see here. Okay. Let's see. Um, how about Ryan? That's nice and easy, right? And Ryan said, oh, so cute. So thank you, Ryan, for that comment. And Ryan has a Y, so it has a tail. So I'm gonna show you how to um, write the word Ryan. So I'm just gonna come in here. This time I'm gonna try a different kind of um, writing. Not as cursive -y, <laughs> if that's a word. So, like I said, it's all up to you how you wanna write this. And experiment with it because that's what's really cool about this project. I used to do this when I was little all day long and I loved it so much and I, Unfortunately, I forgot where I learned this, where I was inspired by this, but um, I remembered it all these years and it's something I really love doing. And so I wanted to share it with you. Hopefully it inspires you. So there, got the word. I basically opened my paper to write the Y, as you can see. And um, so what happens now is because I put graphite right here, it's gonna trace the word that I wrote. It's very hard for you to see, but I can see the word um, that I wrote. So I'm just gonna go in here and retrace what I wrote. So the graphite was able to go through. So right here is my Y. And, and okay so then what happens now is what you want to do is flip it over and then now you have this image that you can trace so this method takes a lot more work uh, rather than using um, tracing directly but sometimes you might not have a dark marker um, this is another way you can do it so now I, I flip it back over and I'm just basically just retracing what I wrote on this side so And see, as you can see my tail, I'm just drawing it. So just see whichever method that you think is easier or what materials you might have with you. Um, but both of them work perfectly fine. So there, now the word, so it's Ryan right there. And then when you turn it over, it looks like this. So it's totally different, right? Like when I use cursive for Winnie, it's a little bit more fancy, or you can just more easy, um, simpler type. You can make something like that. And then you can go back in there with um, your Sharpie or, or color marker and go in there and just thicken things up. So whatever you do to this side, just make sure you do that to the other side. So then you can create this beautiful flipped image so however you want to create this, you can spend hours and hours <laughs> decorating your name. Something like that. And so just keep going and um, thicken things up and then you create this beautiful piece of um, artwork. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one because I'm having so much fun doing this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fold the paper this way this time so it's not too big. And I'm gonna pick a name once again. Very sweet, let's see here. Um, okay. Oh, how about Alice? Because Alice gave me a really sweet comment. Thank you, Alice. So I'm gonna write the word, uh, the name Alice right here. So let's try a different kind of 
font, the way to write it. And let's see here, Alice. I'm just going to do all caps then. Let's see how that looks. I have a feeling I like cursive the most. <laughs> But try different ones because you never know, right? So I'm just going to come in here and make it blocky. And let's see what we come up with. Like I said, that's the exciting part about this project is not knowing what you're going to get once you um, trace the other side and flip it. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, got the name Alice in. I'm gonna flip it over and just trace what I did on the other side. Okay, I did that really quickly because I don't want to spend too much time, but I wanted to show you what it would look like. So that looks, Pretty awesome, right? That's like some kind of uh, ancient um, text. <laughs> so then we can go in here and I'm just gonna fill this all in. So they're all done. So as you can see, if you use all caps and you make it bold, it looks very, very strong and it's more blocky. And if you um, remember this one that I did, which is my name, I used cursive with all the little loops and things like that. It looks a lot more whimsical. And I was able to just go in here and just add some color to it to decorate it. And the last one, if you remember, was the name Ryan, remember right here, Ryan. So as you can see, the options are endless. It all really depends on how you write your name or someone else's name that you want to give this to. But as you can see, it's just so fun because you just never know what you're going to get. So I really hope this project inspired you to give it a try and to make this beautiful name art for someone that you love or for yourself. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time with another DIY.